Uh, when you look at it, uh, the Browns ended up trading out of the second round, so they did not make a pick until the third round. Um, and then some surprises. They go cornerback um, with first pick in that third round. They get a defensive end. They get a wide receiver. They get a pretty well-known uh, defensive tackle. They take a kicker in the fourth round, so everybody's happy. You see the picks. Uh, Andrew Barry was asked, did the Browns get everything done they needed to get done during the draft? I've probably never been a part of a draft where you literally accomplish everything that, that you want. There are always, whether it's opportunities or players or some, you know, some other um, you know, facet that either doesn't go your way or maybe it's, it's a bit ambitious. So we're really pleased with um, you know, how we're coming out of the weekend. But you know, the reality is like, you know, no roster is perfect. Our roster isn't perfect. And we're going to continue to look for opportunities to improve it. With that, let's welcome in Jeff Risden from Brownswire.com. So, Jeff, you had cornerback as their first pick in the draft all along, didn't you? <laughs> uh, it, it was it, – so we had waited so long for them to make the pick. It's Friday night. It's it's getting late. You know, we're like, just make a pick. And and then they pick a cornerback. They picked a good one. Like, uh, n- nothing against Martin Emerson. That guy that guy can play, and, and I'm sure we can talk more about him, but – yeah, that was that was a bit of a surprise. I, I actually thought one of the guys that they were going to take was Perrion Winfrey. Um, he would have fit at 68, and uh, the, the fact that they got him later speaks to the value that they got in this draft. But yeah, that was uh, it was a bit of a, a head scratcher. We were uh, we have a Browns wire chat behind the scenes, and uh, we were all like pointing at you, like who had that? I don't think anybody had that. <laughs> yeah, and and you know the the Browns drafted like a contender would draft, um, looking long term as a pro, as a as a term, as opposed to short-term plugging and and playing guys uh, in the third and fourth round, you're looking for guys that can play a couple years in the league. Yeah, and, and you're also looking for uh, eventual depth replacement players. Uh, Martin Emerson, he sure looks like Greedy Williams' replacement in the long term. Perry Winfrey looks like Jordan Elliott's replacement in the long term. And these guys, they are coming up towards the ends of their their contracts. You know that they did, they do act like a contender. They they are sort of treating themselves as if last year didn't happen um, in terms of the outcomes. Like this is a team that, that they drafted like a playoff team. You, you said it very well. This is, they're, they're not drafting for immediate need. They're not drafting. They, they don't really need any starters, um, especially if, if a certain defensive end comes back, they were kind of just picking to, you know, fill specific roles on the team on both offense and defense. Would you like it if they developed into starters or, and impact talents? Yeah, absolutely. But you didn't have to have that. And I think that their trading back out of the second round reflects the status that they weren't really looking for a dire need fill. That this wasn't a team that had to go in like, oh my God, we have to get a starting safety out of this draft, or we've got to get a starting wide receiver. They they treated it like uh, like they're they're going to get some value out of it, and uh, you know it, it might not sit well with all fans right away. Um, it certainly didn't with with some of my immediate family, but uh, it's a different if. It, we're going to have to get used to the Browns being a different, more successful team and treating themselves like they're successful. It does change the way that we have to look at the draft. We're not going in like the fourth round pick doesn't have to start right away anymore. That's a good thing. And I think uh, sometimes we forget about that. 